All right, you just heard uh, audio recorded on a Sunday morning in the Hesaba neighborhood off Tobacco Road. Um, that happened on September 12th. And uh, so um, I'm publisher Greg Rickaball with the Jail Report, and I've got the exclusive audio of a gunfight off Tobacco Road that left one shooter with a gunshot to the thigh, two brothers in jail, and an entire neighborhood shaken up. Now I'll play the entire clip later where you'll hear residents shouting in the background. But I got a message from residents this week who told me about the shootout. Now the resident told me that the suspects shot at each other about 20 times with heavy assault weapons. Um, let's listen to the whole audio and then we'll tell you what the suspects said in their defense when deputies arrived on the scene. All right, so that's the audio, and again, that was provided to me by residents in that neighborhood who happened to be recording that, and according from the message that I got, quote, a few neighbors suffered damage to property and gun holes in their house. Um, I, uh, I was given the case number by a resident. Can you please research it and see if any arrest was made? Well, I did research it, and you are looking at Hesper Brothers Desmond Blackwell, 24, that's him on top, and Deshaun Hill, 20, who were both involved in that shootout at their house, according to authorities. And if Desmond looks like he's wearing a hospital gown, it's because he is. He was shot in the left thigh during that gunfight and went to jail after a trip to the hospital. Now, again, when deputies uh, responded to Newitt Drive at 10 a.m. Um, on Sunday, they found 40 to 50 shell casings. Um, on that street, which sits a third of a mile from Tires Plus on Tobacco Road. You're looking at a map here of that neighborhood, just to kind of give you an idea. Uh, here is uh, Newitt Drive. Uh, Wood Lake Drive goes up here, connects to Tobacco Road. And you'll see Tires Plus and some other familiar businesses around there. Um, all right, so um, that's, a that's a look at that. Now, Blackwell and Hill told officers that the other suspects, who they named, had driven to their residence and began to shoot at them. They said the driver of that red Ford Mustang started to pull away and they returned fire. They said the Mustang allegedly stopped at Newit and Woodlake Drives and shot at them again, so they continued to shoot back. Now again, Blackwell was hit and was transported to Augusta University Medical Center for treatment. An investigation revealed that multiple rounds struck not only their residence, but um, uh, uh, also a uh, 2009 Dodge Ram, a 2001 Toyota 4Runner, and a 2018 Toyota Corolla, uh, which were all riddled with bullets. You're looking at one of those scenes right here where you could see the, uh, the shattered windows to that vehicle. That was sent to us again by some of the neighbors. Um, uh, one lady was working outside when the shooting occurred and another woman was standing outside her home on Wood Lake Drive and witnessed the gunfight. Luckily, neither woman was hit by gunfire. But at the house where this happened on Newitt Drive, where these brothers lived, there were multiple people inside and that home was riddled with gunfire. Luckily, no one inside was hurt, but there were children inside that home, according to the sheriff's report. Now, Blackwell and Hill, for their part, were charged September 12th uh, with reckless conduct, criminal damage to property, and criminal trespass. Both have since bonded out, and there is no sign that the other two suspects have been arrested. Um, so that's the story, just to answer that neighbor's question. There were arrests, there have been lots of shootings in the Richmond County area, and there have been some reported recently in the Aiken County area that we've been reporting on. Um, we're hearing that some of these may be linked, 
but uh, at least in this case, there have been two arrests. You're looking at them right there, um, and that's our story for today. For more crime news, pick up the latest edition of the Jail Report. Here's a sneak peek at Friday's new edition. You can pick it up in local gas stations starting Friday or download it at thejailreport.com. Also, please subscribe to the Jail Report's YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when we have a new video. That's our story for today. Have a good day, y'all.